The debt ceiling debate is heating up as we approach the October 1st default danger zone. Politicians, think tanks, and special interest groups are using a host of tactics to gain public support. President Obama, however, says this is not up for discussion. I will not negotiate over whether or not America keeps its word and meets its obligations. I will not negotiate over the full faith and credit of the United States. And House Democrats are backing him. So far, Representative Peter Welch has collected 50 signatures on a letter going to Obama that says, we appreciate your strong leadership on this issue and share your view that defaulting on our obligations would cause immediate and irreparable harm to America's economy. But some House Republicans are challenging this claim. In a press conference this morning, Majority Leader Eric Cantor gave details about the spending bill he and his allies are drafting. He said it will lift the debt ceiling and provide one year of government funding. But it will defund Obamacare. It will also include a grab bag of Republican goodies, including tax reform, support for the Keystone XL pipeline, and other budget reform provisions. But Democrats are calling their bluff. You have some Republicans in the House of Representatives who are promising to shut down the government at the end of this month if they can't shut down the Affordable Care Act. The Affordable Care Act has been the law for three and a half years now. It passed both houses of Congress. The Supreme Court ruled it constitutional. It was an issue in last year's election, and the candidate who called for repeal lost. However, this idea of leveraging a one-year delay of Obamacare over the debt ceiling is gaining traction and might already have the 217 votes needed to pass the House. Representative Tom Graves told Politico the proposal that we've put forward has unified our conference like we haven't seen in many, many months. A vote on this bill is expected this week, and policy groups off the Hill are helping get public support for the Republican plan. The conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, hung this 67-foot-long billboard in Times Square that reads, Warning, Obamacare may be hazardous to your health. In addition, Heritage President, former Senator Jim DeMent, traveled to nine cities throughout the country to try and gain more support for defunding Obamacare. But is it working? Well, a recent Kaiser poll found that 53% of people who oppose the Affordable Care Act support efforts to continue to stop it. But the president is standing firm. This morning, he spoke for the second time this week about the debt ceiling at the business roundtable in Washington. He was trying to gain support from corporate executives. We are just 12 days away from the end of the fiscal year and lawmakers are running out of time to cut a deal to avoid a government shutdown. If that happened, most government employees would not work, though essential services such as law enforcement and providing for national security would continue. Mandatory benefits payments such as Social Security and Veterans Care would also continue. In Washington, D.C., Perry and Boring, RT.